for insurance because insurance awareness coordinators group uh, german development cooperation national insurance commission and the ghana insurance association uh, insurance brokers association of ghana and national association of insurance agents and the certified institute of uh, insurance insurance uh, ghana and uh, also the stakeholders they launched the first of its kind the ghana claims testimonial campaign dubbed insurance pace which seeks to grow uh, insurance adoption in Ghana by building that trust and confidence of the insuring public in the claims and process in Ghana. Uh, you know, this morning we'll have that conversation and we'll have it in full detail. I've been joined in studio by two uh, very, very well informed personalities who will guide us through. We have in studio Florence Higbo. She's a claims manager and a member of the IACG. Also, Gabriel Kwame, Senior Blobi, Technical Advisor at the GIZ. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. How are you Good doing? Morning. Good morning, Johnny. Good morning. Congratulations, by the way, for trying to harmonize and synchronize all of this. Mm -hmm. How does it make you feel, first of all? Well, for me, it's exciting, uh, Johnny, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. first of all, uh, good morning to all our viewers. Right. Um, I think that the synchronization has worked perfectly well mm -hmm. to get all industry players together mm -hmm. into one body called the Insurance Awareness Coordinators mm -hmm. Group mm -hmm. to champion the advocacy work for Ghana, I think is an exciting news. Tell us about the relationship between GIZ and the insurance community in Ghana. Yeah, so since 2006, the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development mm -hmm. Uh, has been in this great relationship uh, with industry players. Right. Um, we have supported uh, with regulatory frameworks mm. and uh, supported the NIC and other institutions to function and mm. support the regulatory, you know, breakup and uh, framework for the sector. Mm. Um, we identified about four key areas that we felt we had to focus on. Right. Uh, advocacy, mm -hmm. uh, consumer advocacy and mm. financial education was one. Uh, regulatory issues was another. Capacity development and training was also one key thing. Mm. And finally, how do we support the sector in product development? I'll say that uh, the past 16 years has been exciting. Um, we have supported in training close to about 3,000 agents mm -hmm. uh, across the country. Uh, this is generic on ethics mm. of sales uh, in the insurance sector. Uh, also, we have supported with major campaigns when it comes to advocacy work. Where well, last year we launched the very popular Get In Short campaign, right, uh, right. focusing on the informal sector mm, of Ghana, mm. uh, where we taught all the 16 regions of Ghana, uh, which was an exciting project. And uh, we have tried to, you know, uh, build up insurance jargons in close to about 32 different local languages in mm. Ghana, mm. you know. Uh, apart from that, we are supporting, for example, the regulator uh, with the fire and marine database for Ghana as well. So I think the past 16 years has been super exciting. Mm. Uh, for us, we believe that this is the way to go, okay. and we're excited to support mm. the sector. Fl Florence, you launched this campaign, uh, remarkable indeed. What, what's claims and, and what's the process, for example, for the average Ghanaian? Okay. Thank you so much, Johnny. Uh, we would want to simply make the public understand mm. that claims and the claims process involves a formal notification mm. by an insured mm. to their insurer that there is a need for them to be compensated right. because they have suffered some kind of a loss. Mm. So that will simply mean that an insured wanting to be compensated right. or indemnified right. because they have uh, incurred some kind of a loss based mm. on, of course, mm. Uh, policy terms and conditions. Mm. Now, when it comes to the process, it involves three basic steps or three basic stages. I right. first of all want to talk about the first stage where we term it as the notification stage. Right. The notification stage is simply the insured telling their insurer mm -hmm. that they have suffered some kind of a loss and so they will want to be compensated. Okay. This notification could be in a form of just uh, picking a phone and giving your insurer a call. Mm. You could write a letter to your insurer. In these days of WhatsApp, you could even send a WhatsApp message right. to your insurer. That's and all you, of that suffices? As notification. Okay. So your insurer is then informed that you have suffered some kind of a loss mm. and you need to be compensated. After you have notified, 
I move to the next stage, where we call the submit stage. Okay. At this stage, the various requirements needed to file that particular claim you want to be compensated for mm -hmm. is made known to you. So, for instance, if you were in a vehicle and you were involved in an accident and you sustained some injuries and you want to be compensated for the injuries mm -hmm. you sustained, mm -hmm. some of the, the documents that will be required of you to provide will be to get a medical report, okay. to get a police report. Mm. We'll ask you to bring pictures depicting the injuries you have sustained. Right. We'll ask you to bring receipts if you have. That mm. is receipts of uh, expenses you have incurred okay. towards your treatment. Mm. And we'll ask you to fill a claims form or an accident report okay. form. Now, when this is done, you submit these documents to your insurer. Mm -hmm. The claims department of the insurance company will vet these documents they will authenticate mm. and they will make sure that indeed these are legitimate documents and claims you have filed okay. with us. After this stage, we move to what I call the get paid stage. Okay. At this get paid stage, it's a conversation between the insurer and the insured mm. where you negotiate on the quantum to be used as compensation for the victim who has suffered mm. those mm. Uh, losses. So when we both agree, as in the insured and the insurer, we agreed on that quantum, mm -hmm. then whoever the victim is, they, uh, is settled. The appropriate quantum that was agreed on okay. is it's paid, paid to, you. to the, the mm -hmm. victim. And then the claim has so, ended. So three stages, notify yes. uh, and file your claims. And notify, then submit, submit and get, get paid. paid. Exactly. If the process is as simple as you narrate, why do people have problems with it then? I notify you, I submit, I collect my cash, I go away. Johnny, it's, it's that simple, mm -hmm. but I must also admit that mostly we hear and we have complaints from mm -hmm. uh, clients, from claimants who tell us the difficulties they go through mm -hmm. in acquiring the documents they are supposed to submit to us to be able to file their claims. Right. For instance, we hear a lot of complaints associated with getting police reports mm -hmm. and getting mm -hmm. medical reports. Mm -hmm. So those are the issues surrounding the claims process that mm -hmm. sometimes make the process a bit cumbersome. Mm -hmm. But trust me, when these documents are submitted or when these documents are attained from the appropriate authorities and they are submitted to us as insurers, then definitely, especially when they are authenticated mm -hmm. and the claims are legitimate, those claims are settled and the victims are well compensated. As soon as you have no doubt in your mind, the quacha drops. Very much so. Mm. Uh, I mean, in all of this, we are talking about legitimate claims. Legitimate claims. Legitimate claims. Exactly. Right. So you tell me now about uh, insurance pays. Yeah. That's the big campaign you launched as well. Mm -hmm. And the nitty gritty is what activities you have lined up to, to mark this. All right. Thank you. So as... Florence said insurance pays, uh, notify, submit, get mm -hmm. paid. Um, so this will be running for the next three months on TV3, okay. um, starting um, from the 24th of this month mm -hmm. uh, on Sunday at 1 mm -hmm. p.m. We would have the first um, you know, show, show mm -hmm. it on TV3. It's going to run um, for 12 episodes. Okay. Um, also, we're going to be having a radio drama series mm -hmm. uh, across the 16 regions of Ghana. Um, to educate, inform Ghanaians mm -hmm. about this campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be a couple of interviews across the country as well. And will be very heavy online as well. And so the expectation for Ghanaians is we are covering the 360 approach on TV, radio and online. Right, um, right. Just to you know, inform and educate Ghanaians mm -hmm. about claims. Mm -hmm. Because clearly um, a lot of Ghanaians don't know insurance companies pay claims. And so this campaign seeks to demystify that and kind of inform um, the general public right. on these processes as well. See, Flo what kind of impact do you hope or do you foresee that insurance pays would achieve beyond the time that will be aired? I am very sure that beyond this period, mm -hmm. the public, mm -hmm. the good stories, the mm -hmm. positive stories will be put out there the public will be assured mm -hmm. that indeed insurance really pays. I mean, that's why insurance companies are there in the first place. So we are very sure, and together with uh, our partners, mm -hmm. we believe that by the end of this campaign, when people get to know that, for instance, 
non-life insurance companies right. are paying claims of more than 1.4 million daily. Mm. When these That's stories huge. exactly, and these are revelations that we have kept to ourselves as an industry. Mm. But this is how much we are paying to the public, and this is just non-life insurance companies. We have not spoken about the life companies. Mm. The health insurance companies have not come on board yet. And these are the positive stories we have and we hope the public will get to know about and also come join, join the train. Mm. It's a good story out there. We believe also that, you know, there are a lot of uh, myths out there. People thinking that, in fact, before you even get your claim, you mm. would have to by necessarily get involved some lawyers, yeah, yeah. get some middlemen, mm. some believe that you even need to get some politicians on board mm. and, and get some uh, imams and pastors. People think all of these things. Exactly. But that, it's just uh, notify, submit, collect. Thank you, Johnny. I see. You have the final word, Kabi. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so clearly we have an ambassador on this show, Ochami mm. Kwame. Mm. Um, he's going to be our ambassador for Fantastic this. Fantastic guy. Fantastic guy. Mm -hmm. um, for us, uh, we, we, we want all viewers uh, to follow this on Insurance Space GH, mm -hmm. uh, on all our social media outlets. But for me, it's simple. Uh, insurance Space, we go submit, notify, notify submit, submit, get, get paid. 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 Yeah. Simple as that. Yes. Simple. Notify, submit, submit get, get paid. paid. And it's as simple as that. Excellent. My guests this morning have been Florence Hegbo. Claims Manager and Member of the IACG, and also Gabriel Kwame, the Technical Advisor at GIZ. Thank you very much indeed. Very educative, uh, I must say, and I, I congratulate you on all sorts that this morning. Also, happy birthday to, um, well, whose name is this? Plenty names. Uh, send me a birthday message, write paragraphs. Cindy ba Blanks, Date Rush Contestant. Happy birthday to you. This is from Michael uh, of Usu here, TV3. Also to you, Idi Amin. You work with our IT department here. Happy birthday to you, Elijah. I know you're fasting, so I'm sure after the fasting we can have a party. And uh, happy birthday also to uh, Stan Dogbe. It's your birthday today. Also to Sam Ola Duton, gospel artist um, with the Lynx Entertainment Group. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you if it's your birthday. So we'll see you after the break. There's more here on New Day. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>